And then how do you intervene? I know people try to be complimentary about, oh, you look like you've lost weight. But then it's all about weight. And we are more than our weight. We are more than our size. So if you're going to say something that's going to compliment someone, just could you say you look great, you look healthy, not, oh, you look so thin, what have you been doing? Um, if you're concerned over your friend's health and well-being, talk to them about, I'm concerned about your health and well-being, instead of, wow, you look like you're lugging around some extra weight. I'm sure that's difficult. Um, Try to be the voice of reason when there's negative self-talk. We are so mean to ourselves. Um, I, I, I hear it when other people start beating themselves up. Try to just um, encourage people to be appreciative of their own wonderful selves. We're designed this way for a reason. I do not look like Kate Milton for a reason. I was born in Greenfield. People like her don't come from Greenfield. So. It's just, that's how it goes. I, I am the way that the Hagen's people designed me, and that's just how it goes. And I'm going to quit beating myself up about it. Detoxify your environment. If you have a say in the office party, or the pitch-in or the carry-in, do not food people. If you can, be the one lone re voice of reason to bring hummus and vegetables, or not as many cookies pies, cakes, and junk. And for heaven's sakes, don't be the person who says, and I know people are well-meaning, I made this just for you. You've got to try this. Because you know, what I'm forced to do is say, thank you so much, I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Get it away. Create options, again, in your social interactions. We talked about that earlier. Give people, number one, make sure that there's a space where there's no food so they can escape it. Okay, if you're having difficulty seeing the food, walk away from the food and go be away from it. And then also give them options that they can have. And then what are your recommendations? How, how are you taking your health and making strides with it? What are you doing in regards to this that you found successful? And you do remember, here's the, the commercial for Healthy Horizons, it's free. It's something that you get as a benefit of being an employee here. This is a huge, huge, huge benefit. There are people who don't have insurance. There are people do, who don't have these services here. So this is an incredible opportunity that you have. What, other, what else has worked? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Oh, good. And there are a lot. Um, Fit Day, My Fitness Pal, Lose It. Um, oh, shoot, I can't remember. Uh, a lot of them. Do whatever works for you. Other, yes, yeah, Cindy. And I will tell you that the research says that the longest evidence-based, scientifically supported weight loss program is Weight Watchers. That's just what we know. And, and then, yes. Um, Hot water, uh, acidulated hot water, which is water, hot water with lemon. Hot water, lemon, and a dash of cayenne, or hot water and ginger is actually a stimulant for your body and very soothing. So um, you go. And you should be warned that caffeine has some good effects, but if you have a lot of it, it jacks you up, and then when you crash, what do you go for? Either more caffeine or sugar. Or coffee with enough sugar in it to make um, a whole pound of sugar. <laughs> Sarah. Yay. 
Yeah. That's lovely. That's exactly what I want you to do because it's about the interaction. I'm going to be honest. Often food gets in the way. Excellent. Thank you. That's a great option. Do go prepared. And honestly, I t I bring an emergency meal with me. I keep a clean meal in my car at all times. Vegetables, nuts, hummus, something that if I get caught in between something, I have my emergency option. I don't have to rely on fast food because I don't want to have to rely on fast food. Um, you are worth it. Everything that you ask of someone else, everything that you do, ask of your family. Um, I ask you to detoxify your cabinets, get out of the line of view, the stuff that is the most annoying and difficult for you, hide it. My husband has his own cabinet where the bad things go to live, the things that I, that I don't do. And like, Tom, here you go, that's for your cabinet. And it works, for, but whatever you're doing, you are worth it. It's absolutely necessary. It's your health. It's the quality of your life. And your happiness is a reflection of your health. I, I do absolutely believe that, mind, spirit, and body. Um, the resources I can get to you on the PDF, I appreciate your time and attention, and thank you so much.